بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹیکنیکلی ایکسپلینڈ ان دس لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ دی ٹریپل فائیو ٹائمر سو وٹ از ٹریپل فائیو ٹائمر ٹریپل فائیو ٹائمر از اے ہائیلی اسٹیبل انٹیگریٹڈ سرکٹ وٹ وچ پروڈیوس ٹائمنگ ڈیلیز ان آسیلیشن اینڈ آپوریٹس ان تھری موڈس آف آپوریشن دی اے اسٹیبل موڈ دی مونو اسٹیبل موڈ اینڈ بائی اسٹیبل موڈ ناؤ وائی ٹو وی کال اٹ دا ٹریپل فائیو ٹائمر وائی ناٹ اینی ادر نیم ٹریپل فائیو از کار سو بیکاز آف اٹس انٹرنل سرکٹ دیئر آر تھری فائیو کلو آم ریزسٹرس یوزڈ ان دی آئی سی اینڈ ہینس دا نیم ٹریپل فائیو دیز تھری فائیو کلو آم ریزسٹرس آر کنیکٹیڈ ان سیریز اینڈ آر یوزڈ ایز وولٹیج ڈیوائڈرس تو دس ٹریپل فائیو ٹائمر از کارڈ ٹریپل فائیو ٹائمر بیکاز دیئر آر تھری فائیو کلو آم انٹرنلی کنیکٹیڈ ریزسٹرس ان سیریز وچ ایکس ایز وولٹیج ڈیوائڈرس Now triple 5 timer is used in wide range of applications. Some of the applications are to, pro to provide timing delays. It is also used as relaxation oscillator which is also called non-sinusoidal oscillator where the output is non-sinusoidal. It is also used as frequency division especially in monostable stage in monostable mode of operation. It is used in analog to digital conversion. It is also used in tone and alarm generation. Now let us briefly see the pin diagram of the triple 5 timer. The triple 5 timer is available in many packages but here we are going to discuss the simple 8 pin dual in line package. So this is my 8 pin dual in line package and again the pin numbers are increasing in anti clockwise direction. And the pins are we have ground pin, the trigger pin, output 4 is reset, 5 is the control pin, 6 is the threshold, 7 is the discharge, 8 is the supply voltage or VCC. At this stage I do not expect you to remember the names of all those pins but when we go deeper into this video I am sure that you are going to uh, you are going to be more acquainted with these pins. So this is the diagram of the uh, triple 5 timer. So again we are going to have 8 pins over here and these pins are labeled as such. Now let us discuss the components of the triple 5 timer because we are moving towards the block diagram of the triple 5 timer so it is necessary to discuss the components of the triple 5 timer. There are 5 basic components of the triple 5 timer. These are resistive voltage divider, 2 comparators, 1 RS flip flop, 1 discharge transistor and finally the output stage. which is actually the output driver circuit and this output stage is capable uh, to drive TTL loads and can source or sync up to 200 milliampere of current. So these are the components of the triple 5 timer. Now let us look at the block diagram of the triple 5 timer. Again what were the components? We have the resistive voltage divider, we have two comparators. one rs flip flop one discharge transistor and the output driver circuit again one resistive voltage divider circuit two comparators one rs flip flop one discharge transistor and one output driven circuit and also i have labeled the pins so i have labeled the pins over here and the three pins are very easy to remember The pin number 1 is ground. Ground is actually 0 volt. So the pin number 1 is ground. The pin number 3 is output. So at the output we are going to have the pin number 3 and this is used to drive the TTL rods and can source or sync up to 200 milliampere of current. And the pin number 8 is the supply voltage the VCC and this supply voltage for the triple 5 timer is around 4.5 to 15 volt. Now we are going to discuss the other pins when we are discussing uh, each of these components in greater detail. So the first component is voltage divider circuit. There are three 5 kilo ohm resistors and they are connected in parallel. And the function of this voltage divider is that it sets the reference voltage levels to the comparator. 2 by 3 is the reference voltage for the upper comparator. This is I am calling this the upper comparator and this is my lower comparator. So 2 by 3 is the reference voltage for the upper comparator. 1 by 3 VCC is the reference voltage for lower comparator. 
1 2 by 3 VCC is connected to the negative terminal of the upper comparator. 1 by 3 VCC is connected to the positive terminal of lower comparator. If you can here have a look over here, this is my voltage divider circuit. And because we have assumed that comparators are made of ideal op amp, so the current flowing over here is going to be assumed as zero. This means that if I have a VCC over here at this at this node, I am going to have a 2 by 3 VCC and at this node I am going to have the 1 by 3 of VCC. So if you can have a look 1 by 3 VCC is applied to the positive or non-inverting terminal of the lower comparator whereas 2 by 3 VCC is applied to the negative or inverting terminal of the upper comparator. So this is my voltage divider circuit and the out and these voltage divider circuit sets the reference voltage levels for these comparators. Next is the two comparators. So what is a comparator? Comparator basically compares two inputs and produces a digital output indicating, indicating which input is greater. So if I have a voltage V plus at this node and voltage V minus at this node. So if, I, if the voltage at the positive terminal is greater than the voltage at the negative terminal, the output of comparator is 1. Similarly, if the voltage at the positive terminal is less than the voltage at the negative terminal, that is the voltage at the negative terminal is greater than the voltage at the positive terminal, the output of the comparator is going to be zero. So, and if you can have a look, here again we have threshold applied to the positive terminal of the upper comparator and we have trigger applied to the negative terminal of the lower comparator, which means that at the upper comparator, if the threshold voltage which is at pin number 6 which is at positive terminal is greater than VCC the output of the comparator will be high otherwise it will be low. Similarly at the lower comparator if the 1 by 3 VCC voltage is greater than the trigger voltage which is applied at the pin 2 the output will be high otherwise low. So if you can have a look over here because this is connected to the positive terminal. So if the threshold voltage is greater than 2 by 3 VCC, we are going to have 1 over here. Fine. And if it is not greater, we are going to have 0 over here. Similarly, if 1 by 3 VCC, because 1 by 3 VCC is applied to the positive terminal, is greater than the trigger voltage, we are going to have 1 over here. Fine. But if it is not greater than the trigger voltage, this 1 by 3 VCC is uh, if, it, if it is not greater than the trigger voltage, that is if trigger voltage is greater than this 1 by 3 VCC, then we are going to have a 0 over here. So that is why, that is how we are going to operate these uh, comparators. And the output of the comparators are connected to the RS flip-flop. And you can see over here that the output of these comparators are connected to the RS flip-flop. So the output of the comparator controls the state of the flip-flop. So the state of the flip-flop is controlled by the output uh, is controlled by the output of these comparators. So we have discussed the voltage divider circuit and then we have discussed two co comparators. The third component is the RS flip-flop. Flip-flop is a memory element and uh, to know this flip-flop, uh, to understand this flip-flop we need to understand its truth table. So here I have uh, displayed the truth table of this RS flip-flop. This is, these are my two inputs and this is my output. If both the inputs are 0, 0, if I have a 0 over here and 0 over here, the output is going to remain unchanged, unchanged. The output will be same as the previous state. There will be no change in the output. Now, if I have S is equal to 0 and R is equal to 1, at the output, I am going to have 0 over here. So this is Q which is 0 and this is going to be 1. Why the output is zero? Because whenever we have a uh, reset pin high, I am going to have output zero. Whatever the previous output is, that does not matter. The output is going to change to zero. Similarly, when I apply S is equal to one and R is equal to zero, if I apply one over here and R over here, the output Q is going to be one, irrespective of the previous output. So the output is going to ch be changed to one. And if I apply 1, 1, this is undefined. So we are not concerned with these two uh, parameters. We are more concerned with these two. When we have S is equal to 0, R is equal to 1, that is going to reset the flip-flop and the output is going to be 0. 
when we have s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 this is going to set the flip flop and the output is going to be 1 we have one other pin which is the reset for pin the reset for pin is active zero pin or active low pin so if we apply zero or if we apply low here it will reset the output of the flip flop as well as the output of the triple five timer so whenever this pin is not in use it should be connected to the supply voltage that is one should be applied over here and we can see this this is my pin number four this is the reset pin this is going to reset the flip flop are this whole triple five timer the output of the flip flop and the output of the triple five timer is the same so now we have discussed the voltage divider circuit we have discussed the two comparators we have discussed the rs flip flop next is the discharge transistor and if you can have a look if you can see the symbol over here this is an npn transistor this is my npn transistor so it and this transistor helps the capacitor in this charge when the output pin is low the output is at pin 3 so whenever the output pin is low this is going to help the capacitor in discharge and the discharge which is the pin number 7 is connected directly to the collector of the internal npn transistor fine now when q bar is equal to 1 this base of the transistor will be at high voltage so whenever the q bar is equal to 1 if you look at here if the q bar is equal to 1 because this transistor this discharge transistor is connected to the 1 so whenever we have q bar is equal to 1 we are going to have 1 over here and whenever we are going to have 1 over here this is going to act as a closed switch so if you can hear, see, we see over here if you apply 1 at the base of the transistor that is if you apply high voltage at the base of the transistor the transistor is going to act as a closed switch and then the capacitor is going to be discharged to this transistor and vice versa if q is equal to zero base of the transistor is at low voltage at this at this moment this is going to act as an open circuit and this will provide high impedance next is the output driver driver circuit which is basically an inverted cir inverting circuit if you look at here this is basically my inverting circuit because it is taken from the q bar and i want the output to be the same as the output of the flip flop that is q that is why we have an inverting circuit over here so this output and this uh, flip flop output is the same now this is capable of driving the transistor transistor logic loads and it can source our sync up to 200 milliampere current the output of the flip flop is same as the output of the triple five timer so now we have discussed the pin number 8, the pin number 1, the pin 3, the pin 6 which is the threshold voltage, the pin 2 which is the trigger voltage and pin number 5 which is used to reset the flip flop or this triple 5 timer. Now also we have discussed the discharge, discharge pin which is, collected, which is connected to the collector of this NPN transistor and with the help of this it is used to, it helps in discharging the capacitor. Now what about this control pin number 5 so this control pin number 5 controls the uh, controls the timing of the triple 5 timer so pin number 5 is known as the control pin as it controls the timing it is connected to the inverting terminal of upper comparator by default there is 3 by 3 VCC reference voltage applied using the resistive voltage divider but by using this control pin we can externally apply some other reference voltage and by which we can change the timing of the output signal thus by using the trigger the threshold and the control pins we can change the timing of the input signal now if you can have a look this pin number five is connected to the negative terminal of the upper comparator and by default we have two by three vcc voltage over here but if you want to change the timing we can apply some other reference voltage using this control pin and by changing the reference voltage we are going to uh, change the output of the signal so by using this control pin we can change the timing of the triple five timer so let us briefly go through the triple five timer block diagram again we have volt voltage divider circuit that's the, that sets the reference voltage levels for the comparators so if the threshold voltage is greater than the 2 by 3 vcc we are going to have one hour here and if the threshold voltage is less than the 2 by uh, 2 by 3 vcc we are going to have zero over here 
Similarly, if the trigger voltage is less than the 1 by 3 VCC, we are going to have 1 over here. But if the trigger voltage is greater than the 1 by 3 VCC, we are going to have 0 over here. And the output of these comparators control the state of the flip flop. So if I have 1 over here and 0 over here, the output is going to be 0. Similarly, if I have a 0 over here and 1 over here, the output is going to be 1. So the output of the comparators controls the state of the flip flop. Then we have an NPN discharge transistor that helps in discharging of the capacitor. So whenever the output at pin 3 is low, that is here we have low over here, this is going to be 1. Because this output at the output of the flip flop and the output of the timer circuit will be the same. So if these are low, this is going to be 1 because this output has an inverting circuit. So now when this is 1, this is at the base will be at high voltage and this will act as a closed switch and this will help in discharging of the capacitor. Finally, we have the output circuit which is called the output driver circuit and it is used to drive the TTL loads and can source or sink up to 200 milliampere of current and this is basically an inverting circuit. Now we are in position to know these pins better. So let us briefly discuss these pins one by one. Pin 1 is the ground pin which means that it is going to be connected to the 0 volt. Pin 2 is my trigger pin and it is connected to the negative input of the lower comparator. And when this trigger voltage at this pin number 2 goes below 1 by 3 VCC, the flip flop is going to get set and the output is going to jump to the higher level. Pin number 3 is my output, the output of the triple 5 timer and it is the same as the output of the flip flop. Pin number 4 is my reset pin which is the active low pin or the active zero pin. So if we apply zero over here, the triple five timer is going to get reset because the flip flop is going to get reset and with that the triple five timer is going to get reset. So when we are operating the triple five timer, this should be connected to one. That is it should be connected to some voltage. Pin number five is the control voltage. By using this control uh, pin, we can externally apply some other reference voltage and by which we can change the timing of the output signal. We saw that by default the reference voltage was 2 by 3 VCC to the negative terminal of this of that comparator. But if you want to change the timing we can apply some uh, other reference voltage by using this pin and by using this control pin we can change the uh, timing of the output signal. Number 6 is the threshold pin. The threshold pin was applied to the uh, was applied to the upper comparator, was applied to the positive input of the upper comparator. And when the threshold voltage goes below 3 by 3 VCC, it is going to receive the flip flop and the output is going to be low. So this pin connects directly to the RC timing circuit and it determines the frequency of oscillation. Number 7 is the discharge pin. The discharge pin is connected directly to the collector of the internal NPN transistor which is used to discharge the timing capacitor to ground whenever the output at pin 3 which is low. So we have already discussed this, there is no need to discuss it again. Number Pin number 8 is our supply voltage pin and normally this voltage is around from 4.5 to 15 volt. So that's all about the triple 5 timer. Thank you.